Hi, in this tutorial we will learn how to authenticate users by email and password. First off, navigate to console.firebase.google.com. Open your project. Under develop, click on authentication. Click on sign in method. There are many ways to authenticate users. In this tutorial, I'll use email and password. Enable it. Open Android Studio. In order to use Firebase authentication feature, you have to download this library. Open build.gradle for app. In dependencies, copy the line for the Firebase core library and paste it then change core to auth you can hover over the line and gradle will do quick check to see if there is a newer version in fact there is a newer version so let's update it click on sync now now you can use authentication feature Let's create sign-in activity. Right-click on application folder, new, activity, and empty activity. Let's call it sign-in activity. Open its layout file. From palette window, under text category, Drag and drop email edit text. Give it an ID. Give it a hint. Center it horizontally. Add top constraint. Make the top margin 8. This time drag and drop password edit text. Give it an ID. Give it a hint. Center it horizontally. Add top constraint and make the top margin 8. From buttons group, drag and drop a button. Give it an ID. Change the text. Center it horizontally. Add top constraint and make the top margin 32. Add another button, give it an ID, change the text, center it horizontally, add top constraint and make the top margin 8. Let's add the last button, give it an ID, change the text. Add top constraint and make the top margin 8 and center it horizontally. Signing the user in or registering may take time, so it is better to display a progress bar and disable all buttons for better experience. Then, if the process is completed, you can hide the progress bar and re enable the buttons again. From widgets, drag and drop progress bar. Give it an ID. Move it below the last button. Center it horizontally. And center it vertically. Make it invisible. That's it for the layout. Back to sign in activity. Define the view objects. and define Firebase Auth object. After inflating the layout, initialize Auth object and other view objects.
Once the user clicked on sign in or register button, we need to display progress bar and disable all buttons. Let's create a helper method for that purpose. Let's call it in progress. Create boolean parameter. If the process is still incomplete, then display progress bar and disable all buttons. Else, if the process is completed, then remove the progress bar and re enable the buttons again. Let's create another helper method for checking if the edit text is empty. This method will return boolean value. Let's call it is empty. From text utilities class, you can check the emptiness of the email edit text. If the email edit text is empty, then display an error with the message required and return true. Do the same thing with the password edit text. If none of them is empty, then return false. Set on click listener on sign in button. If one of the edit text is empty, then stop the execution. Else, call in progress method and pass it true value to display progress bar and to disable all buttons. From authentication object, call sign in with email and password. Pass the email and password. Add on success listener on sign in method. On success, that's mean the user is authenticated. You can display toss message to let the user know that he has been logged in. Create an intent object. This object will live in this activity and the activity we want to start after signing in is the book list activity dot class. Set flag on the intent object to clear all activities in the current backstack then call start activity pass it the intent object finish this activity and stop executing anything else add on failure listener on sign in method on failure that's mean the user is not authenticated call in progress and pass it false value then display the error with a toast message. Set on click listener on register one. The register code is similar to sign in code. So let's copy the code from the sign in on click method and paste it in register on click method. On authentication object, replace sign in with create user. On success, that means the user is registered successfully. Change the text and the toast message. And you don't need to redirect the user, just let him know that the registration is done successfully. and call in progress pass it false value on failure that's mean the user is not registered just change the display text set on click listener on back button call 
finish method and stop executing anything else. That's it for the sign in and register functionalities. Open the menu layout. Add menu item. Give it an ID and change the title to login or register. Add another menu item. Give it an ID and change the title to log out. Now open book list activity. Define Firebase authentication object. Initialize it after inflating the layout. On creating the menu, return the current authenticated user from the authentication object. If the user is not null, that means he or she is authenticated. Then you can display the first menu item for creating new book and hide the second menu item because the user is already logged in you don't need to log in or register display the third menu item if the user wants to log out else the user is not authenticated hide the first menu item display second menu item for login and register and hide the third menu item. On click on menu item, if the menu item is sign in, then start sign in activity and return true. If the menu item is sign out, then sign out the user from the authentication object. After signing out, we have to reload the menu. To do that, call invalidate options menu. This method will call on prepare options menu. Copy the same code we have used in on create options menu for checking the user. Open recycler view config class. In book item view, before starting book details activity for changing data, we need to check if the user is authenticated. In Recycler view config class, define the authentication object and the user object. In set config method, initialize the objects. Now, once we click on book item view, before starting book details activity, we need to check if the user is not null, that means the user is authenticated, now we can let the user manipulate the data. Else, if the user is not authenticated, then start sign in activity. In Recycler view config class, create public static void method. Let's call it logout. This method will set the user object to null once we click on logout menu item. Back to book list activity. Once we click on sign out menu item, we need to call logout method from Recycler view config and return true. That's all. Run the application. Currently I'm not logged in. So if I click on more button from the toolbar, I just see login or register menu item. If I click it, sign in activity will start. Let's get back. If I click on any book item view and I'm not authenticated, sign in activity will start. 
Let's try to register new account. We've registered successfully. Refresh the page to see the registered user. Now let's try to sign in. Now we are logged in. If you click on more button, you'll be able to create new book record and log out. And if you click on any book item view, book details activity will start. One last thing, return to Firebase console, navigate to database, click on rules. Read and write permissions are allowed for everyone. As I said in the first tutorial, that's okay for development purpose. If you want to publish your application, then you have to change these rules. Read permission could be allowed for everyone, but write permission must be restricted. I'll make write permission allowed just for the authenticated users. So, write is allowed if auth object is not null. Click publish to apply the changes. That's all for this series. I hope it was easy to follow and helpful. Thanks for watching.